Hello everyone, I'm Lynn Ramos. I'm your host in this show called Nightline. So I know it's been a while since we had another episode. What with the pandemic and all, um, everything came to a halt. But we're glad to be back. Um, I'm happy to introduce my new co-host for today. It uh, Well, not just for today, but for the next few episodes of Nightline. So here... With us today is Mr. Romel Lopez. He is the he is a former district deputy and past faithful navigator of Andres Bonifacio Assembly in Caloocan. So without further ado, Sir Romel, please say hi to our viewers. Hello, Lynn. Hello to all our brother knights here in the Philippines at sa buong mundo. Hi. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Nightline. Sir Romel, um, I'm glad to be hearing from you. So um, for today, actually, you know, uh, just a quick recap of what we've discussed on our first episode of Nightline. So we discussed about the Knights of Columbus and mm -hmm. what's it about, um, how it started, and just fast facts about um, the Knights of Columbus. So just a reminder for those who, are, those who haven't encountered the Knights of Columbus yet, um, ang Knights of Columbus po ay isang uh, kinoconsider na world's largest Catholic fraternal organization. Um, ito po ay founded ni Father Michael J. McGivney, who we should call as an ambassador of uh, Right now, venerable, venerable no? pa siya. Venerable Father venerable. Michael J. McGivney. But soon, yes. he will be called Blessed, Blessed Father Michael J. McGivney. So hmm. that's what we're here to talk about. In this episode, um, kung ano nangyari, kung bakit, naging, kung bakit magiging blessed na si Father Michael mm. J. McGivney. So for years, um, we've been referring to Father Michael McGivney as um, venerable. Venerable but, Father Michael um, J. Nitong kalagitnaan ng pandemya, specifically end of May, mm -hmm. um, we, had, we heard this news from the Vatican that finally, Pope Francis um, signed the decree recognizing a miracle attributed to Father Michael mm. McKivney. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Um, I'll let um, Sir Romel explain a little more about this. So, go ahead, Sir. Uh, sa simbahan kasi, yung mga taong namamatay, mga katolikong namamatay, if they are worthy of emulation or pwede silang uh, maging role model, ng simbahan, they go through a process called canonization. Uh, ang unang mm -hmm. stage dyan ay eh, dapat merong petition sa local diocese kung saan natagpo, saan namatay or nagsilbe yung katoliko at pag-aaralan yung kanyang buhay, yung kanyang mga writing, sa kanyang mga gawa at interview kung may mga buhay pa, interview yung mga tao nakakilala sa kanya. Sa stage na yun, pag inaprubahan ng local bishop, ang title niya is Servant of God. Ngayon, kapag uh, after okay. thorough investigation, uh, walang nakitang hindi maganda sa kanya at uh, worthy siya na talagang superhero siya, kumbaga, sa mata ng uh, simbahan, yung kanyang buhay ay pwedeng maging uh, ehemplo para gayahin ng mga katoliko, tatawagin siya uh, venerable kasi yung petition na yon ng diocese padadala sa Roma at ang Roma na ang mm -hmm. uh, mag-aaral dun sa kanyang buhay. So, pag siya ay venerable, siya ay uh, pinapahayag ng buong Catholic Church na itong taon to ay nabuhay, uh, isinabuhay niya ang pananampalataya na karapat dapat gayahin ng mga Katoliko. Pero, mm -hmm. anong pinagkakaiba no sa Blessed at Saint? Hindi siya dinideklara ng simbahan pa nang may kasiguruhan na nasa langit siya. Kaya pwede nating hingiin yung kanyang tulong sa ating mga panalangin. Kaya hindi natin sinasabi na, uh, Venerable Father Michael J. McGibney, pray for us. Hindi ganon. Uh, yes, kasi kailangan may approval us, yun ng simbahan eh, sa, sa, ng Santo Papa na napatunayan. At yung first stage na yun, para matawag isang uh, kandidato sa pagkasanto na blessed, ay dapat meron siyang i-perform ng miracle. I-perform meaning uh, may mga hihingi ng kanyang tulong, panalangin at napatunayan na sa pamamagitan ng kanyang intercession or ng tulong niya, uh, na-perform yung miracle na yun. Ibinigay ng Panginoon yung miragrong yun sa pamagitan ng kanyang panalangin. Correct. Uh, yung isa pang term doon, sir, is yung pagpapatotoo. 
Yes. Pagpapatotoo. Mm-hmm. Sa panalangin. Sa panalangin. Mm-hmm. Big sabihin, effective siyang intercessor kasi uh, naniniwala tayo sa communion of saints. Yun yung isa sa mga articles of faith natin, eh, di ba? We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. Sinasabi natin parati sa Misa. At pag sinabing the Holy Catholic Church, hindi lang yung simbahan dito sa lupa. Pati na rin yung simbahan ng panahon pa ni Kristo kasama ang mga apostoles. They are part of the Catholic Church. Yung tinatawag natin Church Triumphant. The Church and the Saints are still part of the Catholic Church. And sa tulong ng kanilang mga panalangin, dahil kasama na nilang Panginoon, matutulungan nila tayo sa ating mga pangangailangan dito sa lupa. Hindi lang sa material na bagay, Tutulungan din nila tayo sa mga spiritual na bagay, lalo na tutulungan nila tayong maging mabuting kristyano and to live in holiness. At itong darating na declaration ay formality ito dito sa lupa. Ibig sabihin nun, matagal na nasa langit si Father McGivney, pero pinagkaloob ng Panginoon na patunayan sa atin dito na nasa lupa pa na o totoo, nandito siya, kasama ko, kaya idininig ko yung panalangin ninyo na ipinadaan nyo sa kanya. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Very, ano, very helpful at detailed yung pagkaka-explain ni Sir Romel. So, just for everyone's information, yung process po for beatification, for canonization, it's the same for all people. Mm-hmm. It's not just for Father Makibni. Mm-hmm. Um, it just so happened na, yeah, we're talking about Father Makibni and the Knights of Columbus in our show, this mm-hmm. Nightline. Um, for today, uh, let's try to discuss kung ano bang Miragro yung kumbaga tinanggap ng Vatican para ma-declare na na isang para maging isang blessed o beato mm-hmm. si Father Macgivney. Yung miracle kasi na attributed to Father Macgivney. This happened um in 2015 actually. Mm-hmm. Ito yung family ng Shackle, Shackle mm-hmm. family in the US. Mm-hmm. Specifically po uh, ang pamilya nila, Michael and Michelle Shackle. Mer- shock, shackle. Meron mm. silang anak um, uh, this, Yung anak po nila ay Healed through a ute- Healed in utero ibig sabihin, sa Of a life-threatening condition After prayers by his family So mm-hmm. ibig sabihin Hindi pa po naisilang yung anak Nasa loob pa ng chan um, Doon po nangyari yung milagro mm-hmm. So ano ba yung milagro nangyari? Um, ito pong bata na to Ay mayroong case of high drops fetalis. So, ito po ay isang serious na life-threatening condition wherein meron pong abnormal build-up ng fluid sa loob ng bata. Mm-hmm. So, um, yung nangyari po, yung parents ni nung bata, uh, si Michael and Michelle Shackle, they prayed through the intercession of Father McGivney. Mm-hmm. And lo and behold, this came true and safe and healthy po yung bata. Mm-hmm. So, um, this was the case na sinabit po sa Vatican at in ng Vatican na ito ay isang pagpapatotoo ni Father McGivney. Mm-hmm. So, um, actually po, itong cause for canonization ni Father McGivney, this isn't something that is recent. For years, um, the Knights of Columbus community have been praying for this day to come. Kasi po, for them, even though wala pang inaccept ang Vatican, hero na, or isang, mm. kumbaga sa lahat ng ginawa po ni Father McGivney sa legacy na iniwan niya, pati po sa current na ginagawang pagtulong ng Knights of Columbus, ay isa na po siyang, kumbaga, isang holy person na po siya dito sa, sa mundo. Mm. Um, actually po, si Father McGivney, because of him, a lot of people, specifically po Knights of Columbus, were inspired to do charitable activities. Mm-hmm. Um, andyan po yung relief operations. Kung baga, every time po may sakuna or kung ano mang pangailangan ng simbahan, lagi po nandiyan ang Knights of Columbus na nangunguna sa pagtulong. I know uh, I know si Sir Romel mm-hmm. um, well experienced sa ganito. So, um, yes, kaya Father, ah, Father Romel, hello, <laughs> Sir Romel. <laughs> Sir Romel, kayo po, um, sa tingin nyo, ano, ano yung epekto nitong case, na, nitong miracle na ito kay Father McGivney? What do you think? Um, kung anong may tutulong nito sa community ng Knights of Columbus? Well, sa process, no, if you're talking about process-wise, ito yung hinahanap, yun nga, para ma-beatify siya. Pero more than that, it's an affirmation 
doon sa holiness ng Father McGivney and an affirmation of the Lord sa ginawa niyang work sa pag-found ng Knights of Columbus. Remember, the Knights of Columbus was founded to build up and strengthen and protect the Christian family, the Catholic family. Kaya isa sa mga advocacies nga ng Knights of Columbus is the pro-life movement. Uh, notice na ang kanyang miracle was made possible through the saving of an unborn child. At kung titignan yes, natin correct. itong sanggol nila Michael and Michelle na pinangalanan ni Michelle na Michael then in honor of Father Michael J. McGivney had birth defects kasi sa ultrasound pala nakita na may Down syndrome itong mm-hmm. baby. And doon nga sa ultrasound nakalagay na, nakita na may fetal high drop siya. Talagang napupuno ng tubig yung katawan ng bata. And then after mm-hmm. just praying to Father Michael McGivney using yung mga prayer card na pinamimigay ng mga knights, sa lahat yes. ng mga tao, may picture ng Father Michael Magini. Napakarami pong prayer cards. Ang dami nun, na... kahit dito sa Pilipinas, namimigay tayo, namimigay. Yan, si Lynn, nakasama ko yung one time, namigay kami sa tapat ng aming parish church. Yun yung ginamit ng kanyang tatay, kasi yung tatay ni Michael, na si Michael din, is past grand night ng kanilang local council. Ginamit nilang, uh, ipinatong nila yung sa chan ni Michelle, at nagdasal sila. And then the following uh, ultrasound check, nagulat na lang yung doktor, wala na, healthy na. Nakalimutan pa ng ano ha, nakalimutan pa ng uh, doktor ng, ni, ng baby na sila yung sinabi niya na hopeless na at uh, mamamatay yung bata. Kaya yes, kasi, ganito, yung... ganito kabigat yung miracle na to eh, no? kasi uh, yes, kinonfirm ng Panginoon na ang ginagawa ng Knights of Columbus to protect the unborn, to strengthen the family, is pinadaan niya through this miracle. Uh, and through the intercession of Father okay. Michael J. McGivney, na soon to be blessed Michael. At isa pang interesting tidbit, uh, Lynn, si Father McGivney mm-hmm. is the eldest in a family of 13. Yes, si okay. Michael, yung baby, is the youngest in a family of 13. Mm-hmm. Grabe, no? Yung, yung coincidence silang Pero, dalawa, yung, yung, yung miracle yung, na yun. Is it, is it really coincidence, no? Grabe, Parang, no? Ano na talaga, parang this is faith. Oh, talagang uh, yun talaga yung nabasa ko tong like miracle na to na. and then and then the miracle the, the the pronouncement of the pope happened na tayo in naka-quarantine and then lo and behold this beautiful news comes ay nako nakakapangilabot talaga parang oh my god I, actually honestly I did not expect na mawi-witness ko pa to in my lifetime kasi parati nating pinagdarasal na sana dumating na yung miracle and ito yes, na nga, dumating usually, yung miracle yung process ng canonization it really takes decades yeah tama totoo sobrang tagal matagal true. talaga so, yan we're very fortunate na tayo na bubuhay para na witness natin witness to natin, no. kasi yes and another tidbit no sir um when father macgibney founded the knights of columbus they were also in the middle of a different pandemic oo oh, oh. and etong nangyari tong pandemya ah, etong nangyaring uh, miracle na to yung pag yung pag um, accept or pag-sign ni Pope Francis ng dikti na ito nangyari din in the middle of pandemic. So Tama. imagine Tama. Can imagine Tama yung, sir parang itong case na to sinabi sa kanila na there's no longer hope for the baby to Oo. to come out alive but mm-hmm. then thank you Father McGivney na lang po no, sa pagpapatotoo na ito. And if I may add, Lynn, you see Father McGivney was ministering during the pneumonia pl- pandemic in the US din. Yes. Ito nangyari ito during an- a different pandemic. And ito pang napaka, napaka interesting na coincidence, talagang miracle siya. Uh, Father McGivney founded the first Knights of Columbus Council on May 15. Yes. Okay? And the birthday of Michael Shackle is May 15. Ang anak ni Father McGivney yung unang council. And then yung anak na, na, na pinanganak because of his intercession was born on May 15. Now tell me if that is just plain coincidence. Kahit siguro yung odds of winning the lotto e eh, tatalunin ito. Paano magiging magkaka... <laughs> diba? Yung, yung on that day magkakasabay. Sobrang uh, makapanindig balahibo talaga itong mga pangyayaring ito. Yeah. I'm sure na same as the two of us, no, sir. When we heard this news, I'm sure a lot of Knights of Columbus um, and their families are celebrating this, mm. kumbaga, good news in the middle of this pandemic. Tama. So, yes. So, um, 
We're very happy. We're very excited sa pagdating nitong um, sa darating na October. Kasi sa October po yung celebr- uh, how do I call it? Hindi celebration eh, no? Sir? The so, ano, so beatification October, mass. Mismo, yung beatification mass hmm. in um, Father McGivney's hometown in, yeah. the, in the US. Hmm. So, uh, hopefully, before then, we get to um, see you again and talk to you about Father McGivney as Father McGivney and the Knights of Columbus. Hmm. And abangan nyo po ang aming show na Nightline. Marami pa po kaming i-share sa inyo tungkol mm. sa Knights of Columbus and Father McGivney. We hope you stick with us. And if you want us to talk um, about specific topics, please feel free to comment on our um, Faith Watch page on YouTube. Mm. And we'll be happy to accommodate your requests, lalo na um, nakaka-excite po dahil although meron nasa gitna tayo, nasa gitna tayo ng pandemya, Tuloy-tuloy po ang pag-respond po ng Knights of Columbus sa mga ganitong um, scenario. Hmm. So, pa- Sir Romel, do you have any last words for today? Uh, I, I invite everyone to stay tuned dito sa Nightline para sa maraming pang updates. Especially sa parating na beatification ni Father McGibney para ma-update kayo. And also... Uh, plan din namin na uh, mag-invite pang ibang mga Knights of Columbus to share their experiences yes, yes, working yes. with the Knights and also yung impact ni Father McGivney sa kanilang buhay. So, it's really exciting and I thank Lynn for inviting me na maging part nitong program sa Nightline sa Fate Watch. Yes, I'm more than excited to welcome you as my new co-host because yung pong una nating co-host si Sir Carlos Servento. Um, hello, Sir Caloy. Uh, siya po ay pumasok na ulit sa seminaryo. Mm. Bumalik sa seminaryo. Bumalik. <laughs> pumasok. Uh, ayun po. So, thank you for tuning with tuning in today and we hope to see you again in another episode of Nightline. So, bye! Salamat po. God bless.